back to my channel. We are doing another unboxing video today and it is another throwback unboxing from a series that's a little old now but I still love and I'm sure a lot of people still love it and it is god the Chinibyo, I'm just gonna call it the Chinibyo, Chinibyo series. I don't remember the whole title. And it is Rika Takanashi. Uh, I have this, she is, I forget what scale she is. Oh, she's a 1 8 scale. It's right, it's literally right over here. Uh, she is a 1 8 scale and she has an alternate face, which is a first for me when it comes to uh, scale figures. All the scale figures I own have one face so I'm really excited to see how this turns out so uh, yeah I did want the other Erika figure where she's standing up and she has these effects around her I'll put a picture over here so you can see but yeah I wanted that figure but they're so expensive um, and then I also want to get Sanae to go with her but I don't I really hope this figure goes well with Sanae's I think that Sanae figure is supposed to go with that other Rika figure or maybe they're just completely separate and they stand alone but I don't know I'm just assuming because they're both standing but I think since Sanae is standing I can have like Rika like sit right in front of her kind of like they're posing I don't know I really want the Sanae one though so that's gonna be the next uh, figure from this series I'm gonna get so anyways, <laughs> please make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and yeah, let's get to unboxing. I bought her a while back. She's one of the figures that I kind of had sitting on my shelf for a while that I've been meaning to unbox on camera, but haven't found the chance to. Um, so I don't really remember what I paid for her. Okay, so first up, we have this base that she comes with. It's a pretty nice base, I think. I do love the intricate design, which is like the powers that she has, she imagines she has. Um, so I do love that. I'm glad it's not just this blue plain base, which I think if they did go with just a plain base without this design, I would have hated <laughs> it so much. So I'm glad that they added a little something <laughs> to make it look better. So I'm a little confused. I think this is like a foot peg. It comes with this separate piece and then we have her uh i don't know if i'm allowed to show that <laughs> uh we have her little weapon with um some ammunition and then of course we have her alternate face which as you can see has her eye regular eye color and then uh, her other eye with her contact lens Alrighty, and then oh and then the figure <laughs> and then we have Rika right over here She looks so cute. I look I think she looks amazing. Honestly, uh, it is a 1a scale I do wish it was a little bigger though um, And of course, it's this small just because she is uh, kneeling But I think she looks absolutely adorable. She looks great. I wonder how you would take her head off and Oh, her, her head is removable. No, I'm scared. I'm so scared to remove this head. Yo, I'm too scared. Are there instructions? Yes, there are instructions. <laughs> okay, so I'll show you how she looks in the B-roll with uh, this face and then with the alternate face. I will say, though, I don't know. Just by looking at the alternate face without putting it on her, I feel like it looks weird a little bit so I think what I'm gonna do is just keep her in this original face but it is nice to have an alternate face I just wish it didn't look as weird it it might be because her eyes are different colors and nothing else but I don't know there's just something weird about it I might I might have to put it on I'll probably feel better after putting it on her she is super adorable you've got her umbrella over here her frills oh okay <laughs> Her frills on her skirt, she looks exactly like she does in the series, which again, super grateful for. Um, yeah, I think she is absolutely stunning. She doesn't have that much shading on her hair, which is alright, I guess. I mean, it's not that big of a deal for me. 
for this figure i don't know why <laughs> uh it doesn't bother me as much for this one and then there is a little bit of a pink bleed on her yellow bow i know they were just trying to make it look like her scrunchy but it, it's a little bit messy but it's not too noticeable i mean nobody's gonna you know inspect it i think she looks phenomenal either way and yeah the face is what i'm mostly concerned about and i think the face turned out perfect and yeah so i'm really happy with this figure y'all i'm super confused as to what this peg is for so yeah i should probably read the instructions <laughs> oh her arms are removable okay her head comes off just like you would take off you would separate the hair pieces of an android oh uh, okay so, huh so she sits like this this is so weird to me i don't know why they made this figure the way that they made it so her pose is essentially supposed to be like this but i guess she might fall over so they added this where you just level like you level her where you just level her but that shit don't stay either like why couldn't this be attached to the base is what i'm questioning uh so i'm gonna go ahead and put her weapons on her and we'll see how she looks all right so that's how she looks uh holding her weapons i think she looks so cool so much cooler and yeah i don't really have much to say about this i think for like what the figure is it's good it's just a little weird of how they put it together and decided to sell it with the base like the base is what really throws me off that little peg for the base i don't know it doesn't actually attach to the base itself either so and i feel like it's pointless so oh and then you can see like a size comparison wise and she's almost as tall as the zenitsu nendroid so <sighs> if that comparison helps <laughs> okay i'm going to attempt to put in her alternate face uh it says her arms are removable and then her head and then her hair over here so let's try y'all to be very honest i don't trust this y'all i know i'm gonna break this <laughs> it looks like it does come out though but it's just oh my god okay i got her arm off <laughs> okay i got her head off guys <laughs> oh my god y'all this is <laughs> this is too much for me y'all if i wanted a ninja i would have bought i cannot take her hair apart and these strands are like bending Oh my god and then i have to like put this back y'all y'all i swear to god this is not y'all this does not come out y'all this does not come out oh my god what am i supposed to use i don't want to use anything to take this out honestly y'all i kind of give up i am not that resilient jesus christ okay you know what my girl <laughs> Y'all, I am so sorry, but she is gonna stay. Y you know what? Here. <laughs> this is the best I could do. Yeah, no, she looks so weird. I think that's just a sign that it's better to keep her in her original form before I am highly <laughs> disappointed after putting in so much effort of taking the head out. Okay. Well, that's Rika. Cute, yes. Uh, the base, kind of pointless as hell. But overall, cute figure. Super cute figure. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>